The Match Playmaster is back, ready to go eyeball to eyeball. He was stunned in 2002, losing in the first round, and is not about to allow history to repeat itself. Number two seed David Tom's game plan does not include elimination. The first World Golf Championships event of 2003 comes down to a duel between the number one and number two seeds. Will Tiger win the Walter Hagen Cup and complete the WGC sweep? Welcome to this edition of PGA Tour Classic, the 2003 WGC Accenture Match Play Championship. We head to one of the most revered courses on tour, La Costa Resort and Spa. I love La Costa. I think there's a lot of great risk reward holes out there, especially on the back nine where you can attack some pins. And now that aggressive play takes center stage. In 2003, tournament officials switch the front and back nines putting the par five finishing hole right in front of the clubhouse. We flipped the nines, and now it becomes 15, 16, 17, and 18 used to be holes number six, seven, eight, and nine. Players believe it will be more exciting, and it will have a better feel. The old ninth, now the 18th, uh, reachable par five, he had a good tee shot, so I think it's, it's much better going that way for a match play tournament than uh, the other way around. In the past, the par four ninth finished off the longest walk on tour. Many matches were decided there. In fact, some nightmares still linger from when the ninth was the home hole. Very difficult hole, a tough driving hole, first of all, a tough second shot. Uh, not very many birdies being made, not very many pars uh, even being made. After the bend, players hit the home stretch, and if they're lucky, they might make it all the way to the winner's circle. Torrential rains make it a soggy and damp layout on day one. The grounds crew has done an amazing job getting the course ready. Out to the action, Mike Tirico with the call. Adam Scott, one of the young and talented players, this to eliminate Bernhard Longer. And Adam hasn't been playing very well. Missed a couple of cuts back in Australia in the last month. Worked hard with Butch Harmon the last week and has improved. So Bernhard Longer, who lost to Adam Scott two and one last year to be eliminated, is knocked out three and two by Adam Scott this year. It is the fourth consecutive year that Longer has been knocked out in the first round of this event. Anson now has this for a par. No. Thank you. Three and one. Tom's goes through. Woods two putts to win the match. Good speed, a good speed, yes, perfectly judged again. And although uh, Peterson made him fight hard, you always felt that Woods was in control of things. Peterson uh, got up and down a couple of occasions from wild and wonderful places, and Tiger looked very impressive without holding any putts, hit the ball well, and wins two and one. The first of five days of play comes to an end. Day two and the weather is winning all of the matches. La Costa has already taken on several inches of rain in two days. Let's see if the players will be able to find the bottom of the cup. Woods trying to close out KJ Choi at the 15th. He could hit it 25 feet past the hole. Came down soft. Judged it well. Yeah, this could be uh, the end of things here. Tiger would go on to defeat Choi five and three. Number two seed David Toms is all square with Chris Riley at 18. He pulls out the hybrid club from just off the surface. This type of shot is very difficult to pull off, but Toms practices this shot. The key is to swing the club much like a putter. Ah, 
I just think that's a harder shot. But look out! Good night. I think that's a hard shot too. <laughs> well, it is a hard shot. You just made it. <laughs> I said, but that's the shot I would not have played. But these younger guys have grown up with that shot. And that's the whole difference. And what a way yeah. to close the door from David Toms on Chris Riley. Toms wins this match and is uh, the lone two seed to move on to the next round. He's in the Sam Sneed bracket. We'll take on Alex Cheka, the German, tomorrow. The inaugural WGC Accenture Match Play Championship was held in 1999. It not only showcased the greatest players, but it also became the stage for one of the most inspiring finishes on tour. Jeff Maggard chipped in on the 38th hole of the championship match. Jeff Maggard finally breaks back into the win column, and what a week to do it. to the 11th and Tiger from the sand. Pretty straightforward shot, but he's got a deep bunker in front of him. He's about five feet below the surface of the green. Still should be pretty simple here. Yeah, the soft greens make all the shots around the greens that much more simple. Tiger tries to work some short game magic on day three. This to go seven up on Stephen Leaning. Short game's okay too. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> that's the old Michael Jordan shrug Just right after he made thing. three threes in a row in the All Star game. All Star Kevin Sutherland looking to win back to back titles at La Costa. The defending champion Sutherland here. He's all square in his match against Adam Scott. Oh, what a good shot. Oh, magnificent shot from Southern. He would make Eagle to go one up, but would eventually go one down through 15. Scott at 16. Sutherland hit a good putt. Just didn't go in. Scott to win the hole. That's about 10 feet. Adam Scott, two up, two to go. Trying to eliminate Kevin Sutherland, who's won eight consecutive matches. Back to the par 3 12th. Leaney must make this putt to stay alive in his match against Woods. Woods concedes the putt to Leaney and lines up his short putt to close out the match. So his three conceded. Tiger will try to clean this up and end the day. So this is the fifth seven and six defeat in the history of this event by a player and Tiger Woods is the first on into tomorrow's quarterfinals where he will meet the winner of the Scott Hoke Toshi Izawa match. Izawa so, uh, has to hold this putt just off the green there on the right to keep the match alive. No. So Scott Hoke goes through. Played good steady golf. Couple of nice putts. Four and three. 17. Sutherland with a chance for a three. A birdie. Needs it, needs it, needs it. Oh, golly. And concession time. It had to go in. So the defending champion, having put up a very good defense of his title, is eliminated by Adam Scott. Two and one. Alex Chaka to win the hole. Germany's Alex Chaka to go one up over David Toms. Good putt. Yeah. Alex Chaka one up with two to go. <laughs> Allen B has this putt for birdie to square the match and send this one to extra holes. Not a hard putt, just made hard because of the situation. This is it, or he goes home. Probably right center, just a little bit from the right. 
Not the strength of his game. Hey, right, and that's what hurt him here, Curtis. He missed a uh, seven-footer on the 15th. He missed the putt we saw on 17, and the miss there. And Peter Lawner, the eight seed, advances. He'll pl play the winner of the Darren Clark Jim Furyk match. Furyk is on the ropes at 18. This putt for birdie. Darren Clark gets a two footer for birdie. And the putting problems for Furyk are going to send him home. Darren Clark will win this one up. Furyk took three to get down from the edge of the green around the green on the three prior holes. That gave Darren the advantage. Actually, it will be Darren Clark two up because he conceded the birdie putt to Clark. As uh, Furyk makes five, it doesn't matter what the number is. Darren's going on. Jim's going home. The champion here in 2000 still alive. The Tom's Chaka match is knotted up at the 18th. Tom's had knots in his stomach earlier. He's had food poisoning and spent the night in a hospital. You wouldn't know that by looking at him. Tom said once he stood on the first tee, the adrenaline took over and he summoned up the energy to head into the battle. Tom sends Alex Chaka packing, winning the match one up, and he'll head to the quarterfinals with momentum after a good night's rest. Two others advancing to Saturday's matches are Jerry Kelly, who defeated Phil Mickelson, and Jay Haas, who eliminated Nick Price. The quarterfinal matches are set. And it appears that the rains will not fall on La Costa Resort and Spa on Saturday. Picture perfect conditions await the players. We head out to the David Toms Jerry Kelly match. Let's go to the seventh and David Toms came up a little short against Jerry Kelly and you see Kelly's ball right next door. Pretty easy chip here just back up the hill. Oh, stop it. David Toms is rolling here. He is on fire. Just like that Toms goes five up through seven holes. Scott Hoke is hoping a new set of irons will help today in his match against the number one seed. Intensity and pressure and fire continues to burn uh, hot under Scott Hoke. The Tiger already on in two. Good lie. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh. Really unlucky. Bad break. Bad break. That could have gone in. Woods would go four up against Hoke. Ahead to the par 3 12th. Tiger's putt should be fairly quick coming down the hill. Should have oh, maybe 18 inches of break from right to left. Stop it. Oh, my. Stop it. Oh, my. 13 putts through 12 holes. And if this were stroke play, he'd be six under. Seven. Seven under now. Back to 11. He was here. He has this for Eagle. Go three up on Jay Haas. Oh. Wow. He has won four holes in a row, turned a one down deficit into a three up advantage. And that's very quietly birdie, birdie, Scott eagle, his last three holes he's played. Scott Hope desperately trying to hold on in his match at the 13th. Another birdie for Scott Hope. This is a metal play tournament. He'd be going along just fine. His name would be on the leaderboard. <laughs> <laughs> and he's showing a great sense of humor about it with the fist pump. Woods bogey free through the first two days is in the pilot seat. Let me go up to the 14th and we'll see if Scott Hoke says. I'll give it my best. Scott needs this to go in to keep this match going. That should do it. Boy, I want to see another birdie. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger Woods on to the semifinals. He beat Scott Hope five and four. And as good as Woods was yesterday, he was better today. Absolutely. David Toms, two putts to win the match and join Tiger Woods in the semifinals.
has done exactly what he needed yep. to do today. Put the ball in the fairway, put it on the green, made some key putts early on to get up on Jerry, and then just didn't make many mistakes. Four and three. Now it's up to Darren Clark to roll this putt in. Otherwise, Peter Lonard will punch a ticket to the semis. David Toms, a four and three win over Jerry Kelly. Must make for Darren Clark, and he rolls it by. Hat off, and a concession, and congratulations to Peter Lonard. An eight seed will take on a two seed, David Toms, in the semifinal match. Adam Scott has two putts to win the match and set up a semifinal with Tiger Woods. That's what it will be. Adam Scott, young Australian, takes care of the veteran from the PGA Tour, Jay Haas. That is uh, an exciting proposition. Tiger Woods and Adam Scott. The field of 64 now down to just four as we head to the semifinal matches. Welcome back to PGA Tour Classic. Now Adam Scott has uh, quite a shortish putt to win the hole, go one up. Really important for this young man to get up on Tiger Woods. Get some confidence. Well, that was dead center. Missed the fairway, found a bad lie, hacked it up the fairway. And then a good shot into the green and a nice putt. So Tiger's one down after three. Ahead to the par four seven. Scott looking to go two up on Woods. Another good shot. Scott would convert the birdie and move to two up. At the six. And David Toms has a putt to win the hole here at number six. Take the advantage on Lonard. Toms goes one up through six holes. Ahead to Tiger at eight. And Woods to win the hole. And now all of a sudden a little bit of heat on Tiger to have to make it have to make a putt and get within one. So Woods back within one. Of Adam Scott as they head to the par four ninth, another one of the lengthened holes here at La Costa. Where we find Woods in the fairway. Win from the left, flagstick left, difficult location. He's got six iron, 188. Again, nicely balanced. Woods would make back to back birdies to square the match. Two up and ten fairway, David Tom, second shot. This is a pitching wedge from 112 yards. Ooh. Wow. <clears throat> Pitch mark right next to the hole. Toms makes birdie at 10 and goes three up on Peter Lonard. Back at the 12th, Scott to have the hole. Mm. So a three putt for Scott here at the 12th. And Tiger Woods is now one up. Ahead to the par 4 14th, where Scott attempts to bounce right back. This is a big two putt. Get it in the hole. Tiger misses. They go even. The longer you let somebody hang around, mm -hmm. anything can happen. Look out. Big putt, <laughs> and he knows it. Adam Scott has squared the match. But not for long. Woods has this short birdie putt to regain the advantage. Yeah. This match has seen several lead changes. They head to the 188 yard par 316. location today six paces on whole playing 178 
something like that. Woods looks ready to go for the kill, but Adam Scott would answer down the stretch, and this match would go to extra holds. I'm out of words. Back to 15. Tom's to have the hole. See how much attention these players uh, give to these putts that are very missable. I think the club golfers tend to just go up and tap them in and, and say, oh, I would have held it if I'd been really trying. Oh, that's a well. I tell you what, just when you think you've seen everything, I mean, that's quite extraordinary. Peter Lonard to square the match. Just as he did earlier in this day, when he was three down to Darren Clark, he had matches all square. Worked back with a couple of birdies to square the match. He was three down on 12 T. The 19th hole of the match. This is Scott to extend the match to a 20th hole. Oh. After so many good shots, hate to see the match end like that. And Tiger Woods advances to the finals for the second time in his career. 19 holes over Adam Scott. So Woods advances to face the winner of Toms and Lonard in tomorrow's 36 hole final. Over at the 18th, David Toms, this putt to win the match and get into the championship match. Poured in the middle. So Toms and Woods, one seed and two seed. Two Americans beat the two Aussies, and they will meet in the finals tomorrow morning, starting 36 holes. A marquee matchup on Sunday. The championship battle is next. The finals of the 2003 WGC Accenture Match Play Championship showcase Tiger Woods and David Toms. Nine major championship titles between them. A 36-hole marathon determines the champion. Peter Lonard and Adam Scott will duel in the 18-hole consolation match. The essence of match play reaches the surface. The final four go head-to-head -head this Sunday. San Diego, California, rich in its natural beauty, is the backdrop for the battle at La Costa Resort and Spa. The opening 18 of the championship match is underway. David Toms is looking to get off to a fast start. His putter is ice cold, and Tiger Woods goes one up early. Woods four, Mr. Toms five. Mr. Woods Toms went two down after making bogey at the fifth. He's trying to rebound at the par four seventh, but his errant approach finds the greenside bunker. Toms is now three down through seven. Toms needs to stop the bleeding at the 446-yard par 414. He hits another wayward approach and goes four down to Tiger. That's how the morning 18 would end. Toms remains four down to Tiger, and Scott and Lonard have yet to tee off. All right, four down, everybody gets a little lunch, change his shirt, come back out for the afternoon, 18. What does David Toms have to do to put some pressure on Tiger early on? Well, you can't force it. You can't get everything back in one or two holes. You just have to play good, solid golf. Hope Tiger gives you a couple, but you just have to make a few putts. As you see him just there, he's working on it. Tom's trying to get the speed of the greens down, and Tiger Woods? Trying to get tour win 36 in his career, which would equal 11th best all time. Tiger is in a commanding position after the first 18 holes of the title match with Toms, and he's already won the first hole of the afternoon. 20th hole of the 36-hole championship match, the Accenture Match Play Championship. Tiger Woods is five up. David Toms farther away on the par three. Curtis, just listen to these guys talk to one another, have lunch, and spend time together. I get the sense there's a special kinship between the two. Well, they enjoy each other's company. They respect each other a great deal. Needed putt for Toms. Well, fuel the fire just a little bit. Toms trying to chip away at Tiger's lead. He puts a little pressure on the number one seed with the birdie. Tiger to have the hole. Well, 
I don't think that'll disrupt his confidence, but it's certainly going to help David Toms that he made birdie, won a hole, and made a nice putt. Ahead to the 575 yard par five third. Toms for a birdie four. Be a good blow if he could just slide this one in. Like that. Aha. Oh, no. Peter, he's been so effective all week. This is the fifth match I've seen him play. And he's almost taken the break out of these. He just strikes it so firmly right in the heart. And match play is easier to do that. But that's what happens well, when you don't hit the center of the hole, though. Well, well, well. Woods is three up. He would birdie the six to go four up. We rejoin Woods putting to have the eight. Trying to maintain the four up edge in the championship match. This is another putt that you wouldn't hit so hard in stroke play, but in match play, since this is for the have, hit it as firmly as you want. Ooh. But if you don't hit the center of the hole, and we saw him do it on the Third hole. Third, hole Third hole this afternoon. Woods is only three up. We join the consolation match at the 10th. Lonard is five down to Adam Scott. He has this delicate chip to avoid going six down. <laughs> that is incredible. And uh, we'll make four there. That's two pars in a row. Incredible. Uh, but Adam Scott still has a birdie attempt chance to win the hole. Wow. Dodge there by Leonard. Scott remains five up. Tom's for birdie at the ninth. He has a chance to win back to back holes. I tell you, old David Tom's standing on the first tee this afternoon would have loved to finish nine holes, only two down. Would have loved to do it, but he needs to make this putt first. Just a little bit from the right. Up the hill. Just don't lose it left. Well done. We have a game. David Toms has cut Tigers lead in half. They head to the back nine. Toms only two down. In 2000, the final match came down to Tiger Woods and Darren Clark. And while it was close, Tiger could not pull off the chip in as Jeff Maggard had the year before. The result was a two putt win for Clark. The man from Northern Ireland made the 2000 World Golf Championships Accenture Match Play Championship his first win on the PGA Tour. Third shot for Peter Leonard. Scott also through the back of this green. Oh, pretty good. Adam Scott to halve the hole. No. Well, now. Lonard now only four down. Are we going to see a remarkable comeback? It's happened before. Back in the 11th fairway. Steve, what's happening down here? I think it's a perfect five wood for Davis. 236. Win from the left. Yeah, I like that. I mean, I just, I just think if we're not getting that superb help going down, that other one's not good. Here's where his golf swing is so good for a fairway medal. You don't rush it. You don't try to lift it. You don't hit down on it. It's just a wonderful sweep through. Boy, if it's enough, it's good. It's good. 12, 14 feet past the whole beautiful shot. Perhaps the best shot he's played all day. Ahead to the green. This for par. Mm. 
Yeah. Maybe too late, though. Didn't see David Tom look at Tiger and say, is this good? <laughs> Please? <laughs> He's missed a couple of these little tiddlers. Just caught the edge of the hole. Did you get the pace wrong and a little bit offline? If they ever start begging and asking for a putt, you make them putt it. It's a little advice for everybody back at home. <laughs> Is that how to win friends and influence people? <laughs> That's right. Straight in. Well, back to one. Game on. David Toms has won three of the last four holes. Back in the bunker at the 12th. Woods one up in the match, plays first. Almost the same shot Toms has. Woods has let the lead slip away. He began the afternoon four up. But has let Tom's back in the match. Tom's can square this match if he holes out. Tom's place is shot a little differently than Tiger. Tiger's a little quicker through the sand. David's a little more slower pace through the sand. That's the same with every swing, I think. <laughs> Tiger's a little quicker than everybody through impact. Think he can play a little bit? He's kind of hanging around, yeah. hanging around, hanging around. Ooh, he's won three of the last four holes. To 14. Let's go check in on the consolation match. Adam Scott drove it in trouble here at 14, and Peter Lonard does this putt to win the hole. Birdie attempt. Look out! Billy really Ray, what's going on out there? I got no idea what this guy's <laughs> thinking about. <laughs> An incredible comeback. Yeah, he's six down after eight. And uh, Scott's made a couple of bogeys. I was ready to come join you guys in the booth. Uh, this match is tightened up as well with David Toms winning three of the last four holes to uh, get within one down of Tiger Woods. To 13. And this head-to-head -head stuff, David Toms isn't rooting real hard for Tiger Woods right now. And he hadn't made a putt since the first screen. Time to make one. With its dying breath, it fell in. And that has done the young maestro a power of good. The shifts in momentum are what make match play such a grueling test of the player's abilities. Woods is two up. Peter Lonard is pressing Adam Scott. Just got to have the hole in par three, and Adam did not. So, Peter Lonard, once six down, is now one down. Six down through eight, one down through 16. Looking down on the 15th hole, Tiger to play into the green first. Well, Peter, he's laid way back. You know, he played an iron off the tee. He's got 149, and by comparison, David Toms, as 106. 29, 20, 145, the green's flat. 149 to the hole. Yeah, I mean, you can get, you're just going to trust the wind right now. Yeah. This, this, this is a 140 yard shot with that one. Yeah. Right out there on that shadow. So all the information in the computer. Now, can the computer work? Dangerous Looks green if you don't fly it all the way back there, Peter, because it will spin back a long ways. Looks inviting, though, doesn't it? You know, it looks nice and broad across the front. It's not, the flag's not tucked up in the corner. If he gets the length right. That's a nine, Aaron. He likes it, doesn't he? 
Look out. Look out. See ya. Well, so nearly good. Now, long two putts. This will be a perfect place for a dead handed pitching wedge. How far has he got again, Steve? 106. 106. Easy, easy, easy. The title match is tightening up as Toms refuses to let Tiger run away with the World Golf Championship sweep. Welcome back to the conclusion of PGA Tour Classic. Back to the head-to-head -head action at 15. Chance for Tom's. Some of the players have been a little scrappy because it's match play. The excitement level has remained very high. It's just one of the characteristics of this particular format. You know, Peter, in match play, the play doesn't have to be that exciting or that great. It's just, if it's a close match, it's always exciting. Especially if it comes down to the last couple of holes. To this save. to win the hole. It's good. Ho ho. So David Toms one down with three to go. To the tee at the 16th. And the flag stick is exactly where, as a spectator, you want it. It's yep. far left, eight paces on, seven from the left edge. But that actually is closer than you would think because the left edge falls off quickly. So. That's what that doing there, too. It's kind of sitting just like this. There are five and five this morning. And Curtis, the wind from the left only makes the hole location that much tougher. Davey's looking over his shoulder, looking at the flag right by the clubhouse. Well, so much depends on how you feel on the tee, how the shot sets up. But if I'm David Toms, you know, you're one down with three to go. You might want to start at a fraction to the right of the hole, but not much. You have to give yourself a birdie opportunity. Six iron. He likes it. Just got to hurry. Back to Tiger. He hit eight down here yesterday, put it within a foot of the hole. He's got seven today. Steve, he has to shoot this a little right of the hole, don't you think? Yeah, I don't think this fits his eye very well. Yeah. Toms remains one down. This has been an incredible match. He was six down after eight holes. Got a chance now to put this into extra holes. Shot by Leonard. Needs to win this hole to extend the consolation match. And Adam Scott has this to win the match. And finish in third here in this event. After going six up for the first eight, a little, no, no, not a little, a big scare for Adam Scott as Peter Leonard fought back, but he uh, wins this consolation match, will finish third in the Accenture Match Play Championship. Tiger Woods one up as they play the 35th hole in a 36-hole match. Now, nothing silly. Hang on a second, win the potato. Oh, not often there. See the confidence that uh, these two have between each other. Williams interrupting his man while he was actually addressing the ball, suggesting something. Wind dry. Kind of died down, Peter. Now it's picked back up again. Just trying to make sure his, uh, his man is in the right, right frame of mind for this shot. As Curtis was saying, the flag at the front, but quite inviting. He mustn't hoik it away to the left. Body language tells us that it's not bad. Oh, bold. Well, 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 well. 
Well, now it shows me that at least if David Toms can somehow manufacture a par, he's still in the ball game. Somehow, I'm going to try to hit a high hook. He's got a good drop. He's got a good line. Those trees look directly in his way. This one on the left here, Steve. He's, uh, he's got to hook it, has he? Got to go down the line of the path and try and get some left turn on it. Right. The tree right ahead of him is a problem. He's got a skirt there. That's where his eye is looking. And what sort of club? Seven. Seven. 180. The shadows are going to be real still. This right here. Move them back, son. If you're not sure, move them back. Nothing worse than shadows on the ball. Peter, but Tiger shot made this shot a lot easier. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah, David. He overcooked it. It seemed to start at left, and it's going left. Oh, well. Well. They're sort of doing their best for each other at this stage. Okay, uh, line, excitement mounts. Tom sizes up his buried lie in the rough. He plays his third into 17 and needs to make clean contact. So hard. He so chops hard. it out, but it's still off the green. Just hold up, please. Thanks. Advantage Tiger now. Tiger looking for one of his special bunker shots anywhere within a couple of feet will do. Not bad at all. Cometh the hour, cometh the man. Tom's needing to chip in to stay alive. So it all comes down to a putt of about a yard. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe the thick end of four feet. All the work of the week comes down to this. The difference in prize money here is 400 and five thousand dollars the difference between first and second and when you think about it for a bit that's enough to make the palms of your hands go a little down tiger wins a struggle but he wins well done david toms tiger the champion David Toms gave it a gallant effort. He took Tiger Woods 35 holes and fought through a bout with food poisoning. But the match playmaster prevails, completing the World Golf Championship sweep. It's pretty cool. It really is. It is pretty cool to have uh, have all four. I guess they're all different in their own right, but uh, I'm, I'm extremely happy to win this one. I'm pretty pretty stoked about it. A special win for Tiger Woods. Thanks for watching PGA Tour Classic.